today, we are going to make what I am calling the icebreaker. The icebreaker is just a sledgehammer modification. I was going through Ace Hardware today, but just my local hardware store, and I found that there's a lot of just regular apps, it's just usual stuff you can find out at a hardware store. I would like to make more videos that are l l not as much builds, but more so just modifications where we turn basic tools into more weapon-like, I guess you could say, things to play with. All this is, is a sledgehammer with three gashes in the side, a snowflake because it is the icebreaker, a grid um, form format, and the apocalyptic blacksmith logo. And of course, with just a paracord wrap. Well, I definitely had a, fun, a lot of fun doing this video. I mean, it was great. I don't like that it's cold outside, but that's just something I gotta deal with. Well, hope you guys liked it. Trying to decide between the smaller hammer or the larger hammer. So, I think for this video, I think we might just go with the smaller hammer. Let's go for the flap section. I know from the last video, I um, I already have a grinding um, cut cut off tool, so we won't need another one of those. But we need a flat disc though. Plus, there was that one that we broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good times, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. This is hardened wood, so I think we might have some issues drilling through it later. But and now we gotta go to Walmart. Uh, would you just want to jump in my car for that, or...? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Nice, nice, baby. Imagine us just making a video like that. Here's how to make an a badass hammer. You just go buy it from Ace Hardware, and you're like, there you go, that's the video, okay, later. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, it's so icy. I know, right? It's nuts. So you just gotta record me while I'm driving. Well, I thought you'd have, like, some insightful commentary or something, like... <laughs> so now we're going here to get this fucking thing. Okay, okay, so we're driving to Walmart to get some paracord. Yeah, for some reason, since I make bad life decisions, I always get all the stuff right before we film the build. And I'm always out of paracord. So, that and let's see what Soup Subway has. Because I'm feeling some soup. No. I'm gonna take this golf cart. Why? Because we gotta get there fast, Tyler. <laughs> Here we go. That'd be pretty gay for us to make a uh, pink paracord camera. Yeah, that's right. I just said that. Sensor. This is just going to be a quick mod. We're not really going to be making anything. We're just going to be making this slightly more effective than it already is. And then again, hammers are already quite deadly after you buy them from the hot part. But anyways, you need some paracord because we're going to wrap it around the handle. I like to simply go around the handle, but if you have like a knot or have like a style you like to use, you could definitely use that. For this, you do need a grinding wheel, or you do need an angle grinder with some type of cutting wheel. I have, I have just a basic standard cutting wheel in here. Um, I'm just gonna cut grits into like, like a grid format. This part's not needed, but I don't really like this whole texture going on here. Um, the texture going on at the camera. So I have a flat wheel here we're gonna use the sand this down a little bit just to make it look a bit cooler. Okay, so here, as I said, I'm just gonna grind in the little, um, like, I guess you could say, the grid on this end of the hammer. All right, now the key in this is not to go too far in, because if you go too far in, it's obviously gonna look a little weird. Okay, 
So the plan, we already have uh, this nice grid done. I really like the texture. Um, you're definitely gonna feel a bit of a difference if you get hit that. We were going to do an A here, um, what we thought of, but then apparently instead of doing the A there, we're gonna do it on the side as like kind of like my signature. But here I'm um, replacing the I'm replacing the grinding wheel with the or I uh, can't talk to it. I'm replacing the cutoff wheel with the grinding wheel, and we're gonna cut three divots and like this at an angle. That way it make this look a little bit more than a hardware store hammer and make it look a little bit more original as well. So that's going to be the plan. Oh, now um, another very, very important thing I want to say. Whenever you're swapping out wheels, please, I swear, please unplug the, the angle grinder or, and, and th th this is for any roll in general, please unplug it before you do a major swap like that. Because imagine you have your hand on it like this and you know, you're trying to swap it out and then you accidentally hit, like you see all my hands on it there? You accidentally hit the on switch. You can say bye to all five of your fingers. So just one thing please keep in mind about safety. Alright, now that that's in, turn on the angle grinder and let's let's head to town. your problem. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a lot of logical sense. Because frogs like men, okay? You it's got that? Frogs are gay. And that's all they ever will be. I'm, I'm just going to see if I can take this off without it. Okay, apparently that's a little weird. This is just like a coating. Yeah, I'm not. It's sand and time. Yeah, it's sand and time. Open up the window a little bit so we all don't die of toxic smoke. The toxic uh, to poison us, poisoning ourselves through the air. Let's get busy. Oh man, it's not even plugged in. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so this coming to you live, uh, the, the cameraman is doing the carving. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Sam, I don't think that's big enough. You're not big enough. Sam, our, uh, our music artist and our, uh, visual artist, visual artist, just made us a pretty picture. I'm gonna try my best to grind this hey, shit. Okay, so right now I'm gonna drill two holes into the uh, war hammer. I have my paracord ready, and after I drill two holes, I'm gonna wrap the handle and all this paracord. I think here's good. Normally we would be doing this in the garage, but considering the sub-zero temperatures, we gotta do it in the house. E-boxy stuff. 
should have brought the tripod in. I'm an idiot. I mean, you could like pause it and grab it. Proud of yourself. Okay, so yeah, here we just tied the knot. A okay. Actually, that's not too bad. Just to be um, safe, I'm gonna put a bead of epoxy right here, um, just to make sure that it's all secure. So this is on, I'm gonna snip it right about here. I know I'm just gonna let that let this sit for a few. Alright, well uh, I just dropped it on the floor now it's gone forever and I cut myself. Uh, my finger hurts. Okay, so that's drying. What I'm going to do, I, I want there to be like a cool effect in the snowflake, in the bow hammer, and then these parts. So I'm going to spray paint the inside red, um, and then I'm going, or I'm going to spray paint those parts red. And after it dries, I'm going to get the angle grinder, and I'm going to just slightly sand off the inside. So let's see if I see if we could do this. I actually like in the red metallic look. Oh, we, we might want to like tape that part so that we don't get it all over the wood. Actually, um, we, we don't really need to um, do that with the wood because we actually just finished. We're, 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 we're done. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna be doing a little prick here for a second and just do this. You know. Here, I bet you don't see other YouTubers doing this acrobatic techniques. This is what we do when we try to get paint to dry, and I don't want to go to bed soon. So. Okay, so right now we just spray painted um, small parts of this. Now I'm going to take the angle grinder, and I'm going to very lightly go across these um, parts so we can get rid of all the access but hopefully keep like the parts indented still in there. So, no, it's not even plugged in. <laughs> That's it for Pip. So that's it for this video. Um, in the future, in like the next few coming days, I want to basically get bucket device, put them on the side just on how cool it is right now, and smash them in the garage. I think that would be a very fun thing to do. But what we're going to do now is go outside and just smash some ice next to the driveway. So let's get to it. How about I'm I'm uh make a legitimate um, weapon test video with this awesome hammer. But before we let you go, that was like seven, eight minutes, I'm assuming a video, something like that. Um, how about, we're, 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 we're gonna look for some ice just now. Oh, this, see this, 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 this is pretty solid. Not anymore! See this ice here? Well, screw you. See this? Salt, salt ice. Oh, dude. Imagine hitting someone in the head with that. And look at all the parts that are stuck in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I proved my point. This being the 
the icebreaker. 